Hello, I'm back again with another latest translation video. And in today's video, I'll be translating and explaining the lyrics of the song Showa by Kiss Daniel. The song was recorded in Yoruba language, so I'll be translating it from Yoruba language into the English language. And um, I will not be using this song for this video because of copyright. I'm just going to read out the lyrics and then translate it to the English language. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me. So let's get down to the lyrics. So in the verse 1, Kizane was talking to a lady, a lady that he is interested in, a lady that he is physically attracted to. He starts off with Alakori, Alakoko, Shoma Femi, Shoma Lato. Alakori means a stubborn person. You know, I think the guy is a stubborn lady. The lady is, is talking to her. Then Alakoko means firstly. And uh, Shoma Femi means will you marry me? So it's like firstly, will you marry me? And Shoma Lato means will you spread your legs so shumalaton he's asking the gay if the gay is you know, ready to get down you know what i mean now youtube is not my father's platform so i'm going to stick to the rules so that these people don't yank off my channel but you get the point now timbabwewa shumakako timbabwewa means if i bring it and then shumakako means will you born a male child you know what he's talking about now when you say if i bring it judging from the previous line I don't need to explain everything for you now. You can put one or two together. She mommani problem with boys. Meaning hope I won't have problem with boys. Hope I won't have problem with you know having male children. Tabaja Kakbada Masalo Canada. It means like if we fight, we will come back. Don't run to Canada. So Kizani is saying that if we have quarrel, if we if we quarrel, if we fight as lovers. We are going to still come back together. We are going to still settle our differences. So don't run, don't run to Canada. If I travel today, Kimabai Lababa. What he means is that if he travels today, he wants to meet that he wants to meet her that same place, that exact place that he travels to. You know, because then he doesn't want to be apart. He doesn't want them to be apart. He doesn't want to be, you know. He doesn't want him and his lover to be apart. So he's saying that if I travel today, he wants to also find that girl there. He wants her to be there too. Ami man, I'm my army man. Ami man, I'm my brother man. Will any problem? Ami man, I'm my army man. Meaning that the army man, like the military man, is my is my army man, and the army man is also my brother. So you can't have any problem. You know, in here as it is in Nigeria, when you have someone in the military, especially someone with higher rankings, like a protection, also can be used for intimidation. So it's like saying that he has protection, he has military protection, so you can't have any problem. Baby show up, but show up by means what's up or like how are you? You use that when you're talking to you know someone your age mate. But if you're talking to an elderly person, you say share up. So that's the meaning of that line. Baby, what's up? Or like baby, how are you? She need me king calling, meaning like do you need me to call in? Molay lo majekun. Irule you money problem. Meaning the first line Mulailo Majeko means I said you enjoy it till you die. And the uh, Irule you money problem. Meaning this type of person doesn't have problem. He's saying that this girl like she enjoy, she will chop life, she will enjoy life till the day that she dies. And uh, this type of person doesn't have any problem. Meaning that this kind of person from now henceforth is just going to be enjoyment going forward till the day that she dies. She doesn't have any problems at all. Melanin popping, baby nishonita. Nishonita means let's go outside. Baby sunshine give you fita. Onidiri, onidiri means hairdresser, and the rest is just vibes. You know, you're just just ad libs. There's no meaning. So in the chorus, Kizane was assessing the lady, asking her of some certain qualities that he desires in a woman, asking if he has them. He starts off with showa. Showa means how far, like what's up. Shoni capital business means do you have business capital? Are you business inclined? And then uh, show character deaconess means like do you have the character of a deaconess? Are you well behaved? And um can you wake up around 4 30 to make breakfast for me? I know this part's English, but there's a story behind it. You know, you can Google it further for you know proper explanation, but I'm going to explain the much that I can remember. There was this lady on Twitter, Mommy Z. She's the person behind that that line. Someone so, some other lady made a tweet she, she said like there was someone else another lady that wakes up by five to make breakfast for her husband and then this mommy z replied that tweet and said 
before she used to be very lazy to wake up early and prepare lunch for her husband her husband lunch that he would take while at work until her husband told her of you know his colleague at work that brings lunch for him and come and she comes along with two spoons that when she heard of it oh she's there setting her alarm by four to so that she can wake up early and make that lunch for her husband to take to work so at first i think some feminists were trolling her face some ladies were trolling her like yo why would you do something like that why you are pregnant why would you be waking up by why are you waking up that early to make lunch for your husband that you take to work but you know later on people said going some guys came on came along and still going through her previous tweets and they saw how she spoke highly of, an, of her husband and you know people still admiring the love that she that's mommy z and her husband shared and i don't know i think someone they dug up her account that she that she shared a long time ago and they still sending her money like she was just wondering where the alerts is coming from and then from there gifts they coming in people stay f- who got her address sent her like television so many things even companies stay sending her gifts she got a new phone she got i mean so many gifts you can google it mommy z i'm going to share some screenshots they just type mommy z story online you get more details on that so that's how that line came about can you wake up around 4 30 to make breakfast for me toba dale shule gimme gimme it means like when night comes when it's night time will you give me that's me another line to toba dale shule gimme gimme that's when when it's night when night comes will you give me you know what is referring to now like will you give me sex and uh, gimme gimme come up for me jiggy that's will you make me shake <laughs> In the verse 2, Kizdane starts off with long time ago. I say no Kele if you make me confirm. Kele means babe or girl. So he's saying that long time ago, back then, no girl could make him conform. No girl could like you know make him behave. No girl could make him fall in love. No girl could make him, you know, catch feelings. Okami mo corner. Now I won't do him, now I won't run him. Meaning like she met him in the corner, like she caught him in the corner. Now he wants to do her. No, now nah, she wants he wants to like you know get down with her now nah, he's like interested in her very gentle girl i pick you up don't you big girl i mean like very gentle girl that one is english now nah. i pick you up don't you big girl I mean like he came into her life and then switched up her life turned her into a big girl mama say i don't fall in love and my papa say oh my general lo-. my mama say i don't fall in love that one is pigeon it means like his mother said he has fallen in love like finally, his son, his son have fallen in love, and his father said, "Omo jeunlo." Omo jeunlo means like chop the go, like keep eating or like you know carry on, like go ahead. Yeah. So the other part, the precursor, the remaining part of the song, I've already explained it before, so there's no point explaining it again. And um, that will be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any addition, anything that I missed, you can write it down in the comment section for all of us to learn thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video if you have not subscribed please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll talk to you in the next video